Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 26H1. Well, Windows 11 26H1 is here on the Canary channel. In this video, we're going to talk about everything that you need to know about this new Windows 11 version and what you need to expect from it. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. If you're on the Canary channel and if you have the latest build installed, we're going to notice that if you go into the settings app system and then in the about section you're gonna see that we now have the version 26 h1 on the canary channel with the build 28,000. microsoft is also announcing this that insiders in the canary channel will see the versioning updated under this section and now related to windows 11 26 h1 this is not a feature update for 25 h2 so do not expect it to be released on your computer in the next few months because this will only include platform changes to support specific silicon which is what microsoft is stating also there is no action required from customers. In other words, Microsoft will treat this new version on the Canary Channel 26H1 as a testing platform for the new devices which are Qualcomm Snapdragon X2 PCs and also the Nvidia N1X processors which will most likely be released early next year in 2026 and those devices will come with Windows 11 26H1 pre-installed as an RTM or release to manufacture and build. So Microsoft is basically just testing the platform with this version 26H1 followed by the version 26 H2 that will be released next year in a similar time frame as with 25H2. So the feature update for 25H2 will be 26H2. 26H1 is just a testing version while Microsoft will test different platform changes for the new A features that they are planning to release. And Microsoft is yet again stating that 25H2 remains the primary place for new features and Windows 11 will continue to have an annual feature update cadence with releases in the second half of the calendar year. And also in the Windows 11 inside our program, new experiences will continue to land first in the dev and beta channels with the Canary channel primarily focused on platform changes. So this is it basically, this is everything that you need to know about the 26H1 version or update, whatever you want to call it. It is only available for the Canary channel and for the new devices that will be released next year, not for everyone, so you will not receive this update on your personal computer. Of course, it's good that Microsoft is testing out the new platform and um, we will see some of the changes and some of the features next year year, most likely in September or October with version 26H2. Now related to this build, Microsoft is also adding two fixes in this build. Fix an issue causing live captions to crash in the previous flight for some insiders and they also fix an issue which could cause the credentials window to not be accessible when trying to log into Outlook in recent flights. As of right now in the build 28000, there are two known issues, one of them related to the start menu. Insiders with a new start menu may experience it unexpectedly scrolling to the top and also related to power and battery, Microsoft is investigating reports that sleep and shutdown aren't working correctly for some insiders after the latest Canary builds. So this is it. This is everything that I need to know about this new version 26H1. Of course, I'm going to keep you up to date with everything that I can because there will be some new features that will only be specific for those new devices. But of course, I'm going to keep you up to date with that because this way you can see a preview of what's to come in the, in the second part of next year. Of course, for more information, make sure to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.